13 of my building the Black Pearl with very little experience on a, I would say not a quality instructions build, but I've muddled through it. Appreciate you joining me on this venture and let me show you the latest things that I've accomplished. You might have noticed that when I uh, made this bend there were some creases in the wood. I simply sanded that and then just put a tiny bit of um, wood filler and then sanded it again and now you can tell it's nice and smooth. I also sanded the back side a little bit because there's a little bit of a of a uh, angle to it as opposed to smooth and it, there's actually just a little bit more that I'll just took a piece of sandpaper a strip that would fit in there obviously use both hands and just kinda rub that smooth so that rail is also going to turn out very nice once I get it stained little uh, blimp right there but little things like that on a pirate ship are fine when I stain that it will give it character I'm going to try to explain how to build the staircase that is this one this is a photograph of it some of these parts are incredibly tiny to start off with all of these as they come down the stairs they require three parts now this little pedestal is fairly easy but on top of it is part number G11 this little part right in here this little square with the little triangle cut across it each one of those are two pieces and I don't know if I can get well here's my fingertip give you an idea how tiny those actually are and then the other side is G 14 it's a little bigger so here's the actual pieces there's G 11 it gets glued on top of this little um, face looking thing and then G14 as you can tell there's an angle cut that's so it can go up the stairs so I'll do that with a file probably what I'm doing now is I'm compiling all the pieces that will make up the two staircases not even worrying about this part yet and putting them in one bin and then I'll try to assemble the rails the outside one that goes here is I1 and it's a straight piece there's two of them so it'll be on the two outsides then there'll be four different segments because this has a handrail so the lower part is the thicker of the two it is I2 and then the top rail handrail will be um, B9 and it's thinner and then those will lay on top of each other with those turnstiles. I need to look up and see what those are actually called. I know and I just can't think of it. So this once it's together will go between these. Well, let me go on record. These tiny little parts that you're supposed to cut in half and make a little triangle, G11, as well as G1, or I'm sorry, G14, these little pieces will not work to make this. I couldn't even cut the angle on that let alone get them glued on top of the um, spindle. So what I did is I took a dowel rod that was the same diameter as the bottom of that spindle cut a 45 there, 45 there, glued those in place then glued it on the rails and you'll see when I put it in place whoops, sorry, that that should work just fine. I'm going to add uh, another spindle in the center here and possibly two more. Let me show you specifically how I made those extensions to make this so I think it'll work. First I had a dowel rod that pretty much matches the base. It's maybe slightly larger but hardly noticeable. Then the first step was to cut a 45 degree angle on the edge. But I also need a top piece so 
to make those consistent, I'm going to make a mark. Now, I've already made one a, a black mark here, and that is going to be for the total length. Then I want to use the scrap from the 45, and it needs to be pretty tiny, so right about there, I've got that mark. So I want to first cut this first 45, so I'm going to put that right on the black mark, and then very gently cut these. So here's going to be for the top, so I'll save that, and now that I have the 45, I can put just the top edge of that diagonal cut right on the edge of that black line and now straight across. And that gives me my two pieces. Here it is, it's not glued in place but it's turning out pretty good. So I'm happier with that. To get these real dark, these spindles, I soak them like overnight in stain. So they do have a nice old look to them. I'm going to put a top on this. I'm considering taking this dowel and I don't have the capability of slicing it but I think I could sand it so it's flat on that edge. I've actually got a smaller dowel so I may try that because this for a handrail to me it just looks too rough and uh, I need to sand those little knobs off. But So I may put a nice rail on top of that. I'll still have to match up the next uh, at the next level because there's spindles that go across here also. So I'll I'll work on getting that to match. But I think those are going to work fine. Much easier to work with. I have gone to a smaller piece of dowel rod and I am going to I'll have to bend it but I can soak it and use the, the uh, plank bender to put that little curve to it. And all I'm doing is got a little sanding block here, and I'm sanding the underside flat. Okay, I've got this bent the way I want. You can see, hopefully it has the right curvature. I'll do some more stain work on it. It gives me a nicer finish to work with. Again, I'll do some more staining, make it darker. This I left longer so I can trim that to match up to the uh, rail that goes across there. And I did get a nice curvature to it, so I'm happy with that idea. I'll finish the rest. Now I'll get to work on the outside edges and the other staircase on this side. And then I've got a couple stairways on this side that are smaller. I've gotten the framing for the stairs in place and I'm using the same technique I used before. This is just a plastic straw and I use that for the distance between this, uh, the treads on the steps or stairs and actually that looks crooked on camera but in life it doesn't look crooked so that's an optical illusion so they've dried now so that's where I'm at yeah maybe this one has dropped down a little bit I may have to move that up we'll see after I get it all together I'm not a pro on putting in the uh, stairs or the steps and I tried to do it separate from installation but I just couldn't get it to match up so I thought it would be better if I mounted the two side rails and then put the steps in. So that's what I'm doing. So I've got a few more steps to put in, so a little sanding, some trim work up here, then I'll work on the front banister across here. Have all the 
the steps in place except for one on the right hand side. Got the banisters in place. Got a little more staining to do. 